know, we hear that lots of movements can induce a child. She sits on this big bouncy ball and bounces up and down. One other thing we've been doing is trying to have more sexy times because that supposedly helps labour come along. That's not working either, probably because it's not lasting long enough, so the baby doesn't even realise it's happened. <laughs> Listen, my, my, I'm good at sex. Simple, plain and simple. He's quick and efficient. We're going to the hospital to get another sweep. It's where the doctor basically fiddles with the baby's head, strokes the baby, and the baby comes sooner. All of this obviously can wait because Every night, without fail, when we leave the apartment, I have to take a picture of Vogue's outfit for her Instagram, and I'm always so worried that people know that it's me taking the photos because it's so embarrassing. So hang on. <laughs> Look, this is the routine. Wait, no, we don't want that tree right now. No, I know exactly what I'm doing, thank you very much. This happens every... I'm so used to it now. I used to fight it, and now I just do it because it's so much easier. He's weirdly good at it. So she checks us your cervix. Even if that's gone up to three, then we're like... We're basically on course to give birth this weekend. But the sweep moves Got golf along this weekend. because it, um, it's like a natural way of inducing. So the question is, that is the baby ready to come out? Like so we're just baby. going to have a look at the baby, and then I'm just going to check your cervix and okay. uh, give you a sweep. OK. OK. Everything's okay. suddenly becoming very real. <laughs> How quiet? This is the quietest he's ever been in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because usually I'm joking around, but it's like it's like... God, he could be here tomorrow. Yeah. I really hope so. I think that probably you're not quite ready yet, but you're just moving in the right direction. Uh, looks like we're on for golf. Shut yeah. up, Spencer, you absolute dick. We're going for a, a curry now. That does not juice. Having some special time together, that's good. Yeah. Uh, we... Thank you, Vaso. We lo... He won't do it anymore. What? We... He won't. I asked last <laughs> night. He Vaso, won't are do you it. telling me that I have to have sex with her? <laughs> He won't do it! I will do it. That can help. So we were trying to decide on the Sunday appointment, which is probably annoying for Vasa to do anyway, because it's a Sunday. Mm. So she wanted to do the morning when she's here, but Spencer wasn't really that happy about the morning because he wanted to golf. Morning? Afternoon? Sunday morning? What? Whatever, oh. whatever suits Vasa. Any time that suits you, Vasa. Afternoon would be great. You know, you if know. you're here in the morning. It's Vasa's morning. weekend as well. So I think if I go off to play golf, you'll go straight into labour, and I'll have to do a 180 and turn around. So, it's worth the risk. And also, I won't have to let the club down. So, over the past couple of months, we've kind of had to adjust to our new lives, but there is one member of our family who's really struggling with it, and that is our Winston. Since Theodore's come along, I'm sorry, I've noticed a difference in my Winston. Yeah. And he's not happy. Yeah, the dog's mental health is pretty high on my level of interest, given that we have Listen, a new infant. In I house. want everybody in this house to gel well together and be happy. And Winston, as your stepson, you should make him feel welcome and happy too. No one really likes their stepson. I have a stepdad, so I find that offensive when you say that. Well, ask him. He definitely likes me. Spencer, hi, mate. Hey. Oh, yep. That's anyway, good. we decided that we'd get a pet therapist. There was no we in this whatsoever. We decided. No. Well, the first thing I picked up with him, he said to me, he's lost his mum. Oh, no. He's right. lost his mum. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what... Because you, you, you want me to be honest, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's what he said. He's lost his mum. He doesn't love me, does he? Does he may not... Spencer? Well... The thing is, I, I don't like to say who he, who he loves and not. No, it's not ask ask nice. him if he loves me. No, we definitely want to hear him. No, I don't No, want... go on, tell us if he loves Spencer. Well, we'll, we'll, I'll ask him now, see. He said you, you were rude to him. Uh, excuse me. Winston, I'm the only person that plays tennis, tennis with you. Nobody else kicks the ball for you. I take you running with me, I feed you, and I house you. So don't be so ridiculous. You know, if you were just a bit nicer to him... It might help. This is not my fault. You can't blame it on me. Listen, Clyde has a job which a lot of people will be sceptical about, so I'm one of those sceptics. OK. And I liked Clyde. OK, a little dining room. So this room. is the dining room. Golf trophy at the door. Yeah, which is important. Obviously, the owners uh, are people of taste. Like, we're sort this of looking for a forever home. You're going to come here forever? That's great. Okay, so, sorry, I, I didn't realise that's what we're looking for, but okay. <laughs> the first house, uh, it was beautiful, it was big. It needed a lot of work done to us to make it our own. 
but it, it had no sea views, so that's kind of that defeats the purpose of, of me moving back to Hoth. I need the sea view. Us moving. So I want a house that, like, people will be jealous of. Babe, I'm about to give that to you. Like, I mean, you could put a helipad there if you wanted to. Now you're talking my language. And you say this comes with about four acres? That's for horses, cos that used to horses. be... Horses. So that is available. If you wanted, you could buy that as well. Who said anything about horses? You don't even ride. I like horses. Yes, I do horses. I don't nice count in London. Yeah. <laughs> Learning all sorts today. Good. But it's, um, great kitchen for cooking. Oh, there you go. It's not on. Yeah, right. Buddy, what's this on at? Four and a half. We'll give you 1.75 for it. I'll, I'll give him a call. I'll ring you tomorrow. That's our final offer. One See you later. yeah. Yeah. This could be Winston's room. OK, yeah. like, honestly, stop being ridiculous. So, look, Vogue wants to buy a house right now right. in Hoth. What's the story with you? Do you want well, to move over here like that? I woke up this morning thinking I was going for lunch. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> this, is, this is all kind of news to me. Everything is in place. The wheels are in motion. Spencer just needs to get on with the idea that we're going to live in Ireland now. I think if we're putting them down for skills in London, why would we not... Put Have them you actually put them down for schools here? <laughs> You're an animal. <laughs>